my buddy, Dirty Dan, here. So, today, as you can see from the uh, thing on your screen, as well as the title of the video, today's a pretty special day. It's the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day uh, for all the British people here. Uh, cope. Uh, anyway... So, as you can see, I've laid out what is most of my collection, and it's changed and grown over the few years I've had all this stuff. Um, you probably can already notice, for those who are really observant, there's a big piece missing from this. My American Freedom Train GS4 is no longer here. I traded that away almost a year ago now, um, and I will replace it eventually because I really love that engine, um, and uh, I'll get another one. But... Here is everything, aside from maybe, I say most because I think there's a couple cabooses missing. They're just Tyco ones and maybe one or two of those box cars, but they're duplicates. Um, so, I guess we'll start up top with the rolling stock. And to our left, we have an original sealed set of Spirit of 76 cars. Now, these are the originals. They're brand new. And the reason you could tell, these are technically second generation. Um, because these have the long stripes and the bold lettering. Um, and when you come over to these ones, they have these stripes that don't go all the way down the sides of the car, as well as a lot less bold lettering and graphics. Um, there is two more versions. Now, one of them is the same of these, and I think it's the long stripe cars, but they have closed in steps. Now, those are kind of hard to get. But the hardest set to find, and I'll put pictures up on screen, is the original set that was controversial because of an error on one of the cars that um, you'll probably figure it out for yourself if you haven't seen them already. Um, but they are the very first generation of the cars that they produced, and they were not produced very long, and there's very few of them out there. Um, I would like to pick up a set eventually, and I'm sure I'll come across some at some point. So, yes, the long stripe and the short stripe version of the Tyco Spirit of 76 cars. Now, we'll start with this big box over here. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot, the Tyco Caboose, which, that's just a classic. Um, there's more variations to this Caboose. I don't know all of them, but I have one at least. And then, not to forget, the Tyco Spirit of America passenger cars from the lovely set they produced. I have another set of these, but those are brand new, and I couldn't find them, but I still have them somewhere. So, yeah, I have another set. And um, the uh, Lionel HO American Flyer Caboose, the set that this was from is really strange, and we'll talk about it when we get there. Now, the first or the only boxed set that I own, um, this is one of the only cardboard box sets that I own. This is an original Sears um, Tyco set. And uh, as you can see when I open it up, this would have been what your typical Tyco set would have looked like back in the 70s, I believe this was manufactured, late 70s, early 80s. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's all in there. Um, it's near brand new. I think there's um, a couple things wrong with it. Um, but other than that, it's beautiful. I love this set. Um, I would like to eventually get it on a proper display somewhere. But uh, anyway, then we have a couple more box things. And uh, we won't talk about this. We'll talk about that. Those last. Um, we have the Spirit of America 460. Uh, boxed in its original blue commemorative box, which I love. I think the blue color on these is really cool. That was a great choice by them to do that. And then we have a very sentimental engine for me because this was one of the first second-hand HO scale locomotives I ever owned. And uh, I'll never forget it because of that. Um, I bought this when I was still in O-Gage, and I bought it because I thought it looked cool. That was it. That's the only reason I bought it. And I'm so glad I did because it's a really cool engine. Um, it's a U36B, I believe, uh, is one of the first ones that Bachman came out with. It has the original Zamac drive made by Cater. When Bachman was still making fantastic drives, uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. So now we come to all the, I've kind of separated by uh, not Tyco and Tyco, as you can see. So uh, first up, we have the Lionel HO American Flyer GP9, I think, GP9 something like that um this was produced in a really weird set and it's all branded american flyer um this is i think when they just acquired american flyer now this may not even be commemorative i i'm pretty sure it is though 
So that's why I included it. But it's just a very strange engine and caboose. You know, I, I never really understood why they chose this sort of branding, but they did for some unknown reason. But uh, yeah, weird one. Next, we come up to the AHM uh, Sea Liner, produced by uh, Riverossi, I believe, or the predecessor to them. I'm not totally sure on that. It's a little cloudy. I'm not a Riverossi expert. Um, I have general information on them. Uh, this one I actually didn't get too long ago. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I really like the gray truck covers. Uh, it makes it a bit of a standout in any Sea Liner collection. Um, this one's really nice. It's just missing the horns. That's about it. Uh, so, yeah, not much else to go on about that one. Here is a really weird one. This is a Lima. Um, this is only a dummy, too. I don't know why they made dummies of these. Because I don't, like, this is not This is just very strange. They also chose a really weird prototype for this. Some sort of Alco. I'm not an Alco expert. But, uh, yeah, they would have had a um, similar drive that they put into their, um, I believe, their 282s. They had, a like, a universal motor that they put into all their engines, which I really like. But it was a really weird design choice on their part, honestly. But, yeah. So, uh, weird Lima engine. <laughs> Next up, we have... I think this might be another Lima? I, I don't know. I really don't know on this one. This is a strange one. It's either Lima or it's Mahano. Some, some, something of that origin. Uh, this one's in pretty great shape. It just doesn't run all that well. That's about it. Um... It's pretty cool. It's just uh, some sort of other Alco prototype that I'm not familiar with. Now as we get down here, these are our last three not Tyco items. And these are all AHM as well. Uh, and uh, these are weird. I haven't gotten to work on these yet. As you can see, one of them's still missing the roof and the fuel tank. But uh, yeah, I've got one dummy and two powers. I, I converted one of the powers that was originally a dummy because I wanted another powered one. And uh, I'm probably going to make a very nice dummy powered set and then sell the remaining one because I don't feel like I need three. But uh, yeah, so uh, I I don't really have much else to say about these except for the Norfolk and Western never owned engines that were in, in this paint scheme, GP9s. But they did have um, some bigger EMD diesel, I believe, that was in the paint scheme. I'll probably throw a picture up on screen if I remember to. <laughs> so... Now we move on to the Tyco stuff. Uh, starting off, we will go to the oddballs. Uh, we have the Spirit of Mer America 460. Uh, this one's in worse shape than that one. It doesn't have the correct funnel. The cylinders are very chipped. I may repaint those eventually and get the right funnel. But uh, it's still a nice engine nonetheless. Um, and then we have the only Tyco uh, Spirit of 76 Alco 630 I own, which is baffling to me, and I was only able to acquire this from some trade I did a very long time ago. Um, and believe it or not, there is only one thing from Tyco that I am missing of their Spirit of 76 collection, and that is the set of F units. And I have not been able to get my hands on a set of them for literally years now, and I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, weird story. So now we move on to uh, the holy, uh, just, I don't even know what to call this, um, just an insane amount of Tyco C430s. Now, I believe I have them in some sort of sequential order um, because they produce them in a sort of order. You know, it, it's just, I, I'm not totally sure the order. I think I've got them mostly correct here because they made a ton of different versions. I think there was like nine I believe I have almost all of them. I'm only missing a few. But, uh, yeah. So let's start from the top. First up, we have the rarest of the rare. We have an original lettered seal, first edition, in the box. Um, super clean. And, uh, yeah, that thing's just a beauty. Um, love that engine. It's super cool. And the seal isn't even flaking at all. So that was a very common problem with these. So I believe this is first gen or second gen. I could have these two mixed up. I know one of them's first and one of them's second. Now, this one, you can see, is in worse shape, and it has the seal that's starting to flake. So, I haven't touched this one yet uh, because of fear of messing up that seal, but I will eventually get around to it. Next, we come down to another one, and I believe this was actually my very first Alco C430 that I uh, purchased. And, um, yeah, it was a really long time ago. And anyways, coming down, we have just more versions that, um, you know, I, they're not really specific, and there's no particular story behind all of these. 
If I ran through the story behind everyone that I remembered, it would be extremely long. I've acquired so many over the years. Um, like, as you can see, this one is just... Some of them haven't been worked on. Some of them have been worked on. You know, I, I work on them when I get to them. And these aren't exactly a priority. These are just put to the side, you know, so I can work on more important stuff. But I can guarantee they all eventually will be get worked on. And with that, I believe that's everything in the Spirit of 76 collection. Um, aside from a couple cabooses or maybe a boxcar too. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you folks enjoyed seeing my cool collection. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Independence Day. And, uh, hopefully I will, uh, get that GS4 I wanted. Um, I've got some cool videos coming up, uh, when I get the time. Uh, time is always a constraint here, you know. Got, uh, family stuff, I suppose. You know, I'm going on vacation pretty soon. You know, hanging out with friends, enjoying summer. And, uh, yeah. But I will have more videos out soon, you know. I, I'm, I haven't stopped making videos. It, it just... I haven't, you know, put the time into it and really thought about making videos recently. It just hasn't been something within my interest. Um, been doing a lot of train stuff, just nothing really related to making videos like restorations and such. Um, that is not me saying I won't make any more videos. It's just, you know, sometimes I won't make videos, sometimes I will. Uh, I'm not really set on making videos, you know. I know you folks enjoy them, and that's really what keeps me making videos. And um, I will make four eventually, you know. It's only a matter of time. So, with that, that is the entire collection, and um, if you guys happen to post any of uh, your collection of your Spirit of 76 stuff, I would, be love I would love to see it, so leave a comment and I'll go check it out, you know, see what you guys have. Maybe you have some cooler stuff of, than me, you know, maybe you have uh, some prototype or something, I don't know, but uh, anything cool that's worth showing, I would love to see it. And even if you have that original set of boxcars, uh, I have a P.O. box. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. If you have them, uh, I would keep them because uh, uh, they are getting harder and harder to find. But uh, anyways, that's going to have to do it. And uh, I hope you folks enjoyed. Happy Fourth of July. And I'll see you next time.